All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. Now today I'm gonna be doing a guide on how to clear the brand new hard mode stage 16-3. Uh, that is going to be the brand new Kyoka stage. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So of course, with the brand new level cap that has came, uh, we have the brand new normal stages as well as the brand new hard mode stages. Uh, and usually whenever they do these hard mode stages, the third and final one is going to be a brand new character, like a three-star character usually, or or it's a new shard up that we haven't gotten before. For example, Kyoka we got, um, we got Arissa in this one, we got June in this one, and then of course we got our girl Vegeta in that one. Uh, so for the team comms that I'm going to be using against the 16-3 boss, it's going to be very self-explanatory, and it's going to be basically June Makoto, and then you're going to be having Kiori. Uh, you can replace Kiori with other characters, for example. Uh, if you want to re replace Kiori with Summer Tamaki, you could do that. Uh, if you want to replace it with Tomo, you could do that as well. But I highly recommend your Tomo be at five stars if you were to run that. Um, you could replace her with any other really DPS character. Uh, Shiori, you could probably replace her with as well. Um, but I'm going to be going, of course, with Kiori because I feel like Kiori is the most powerful character in the entire game in terms of just physical DPS at the moment, right? She's going to get replaced. I feel like Tomo is probably slightly better at five stars if you can get Tomo to stack up quite a few times. But for now, I'm just going to be running it with the Kiori team. So I know a lot of people don't like the fact that you have to run June and Makoto together usually in order to get a sufficient enough comp to deal with some of these hard mode stages. Um, but I feel like June right now, a lot of people should be having a June. They just had the brand new Ironclad Nightmare event and they gave you like 90 or something. It was like 65 something memory shards for June. So you're able to get her almost halfway up if you have not gotten her yet. We had multiple times two hard mode uh, shards. I think we had a three times hard mode as well in there. So you had multiple opportunities to get your June up to three stars if you did not have her before. Uh, so a lot of people, mostly everyone, should be having a June right now. Uh, she basically they gave her out to for free almost entirely. If you've been playing since the hard mode release back in the area 14, which was keep in mind that was two months ago. Uh, so a lot of people should be having June by now. Makoto, of course, if you don't have Makoto, there is a banner right now. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but we have the brand new Matsuri banner, uh, which of course has Matsuri on it, and as well as three-star Makoto, who is the featured three-star character. So if you do not have Makoto, you can kind of, I guess, make an excuse to go ahead and summon on this banner. Keep in mind, of course, you're going to be missing out. If you do not get Makoto, um, then that would be really, really bad. So keep in mind, you have a risk of losing your jewels here. But if you do not have Makoto, Makoto is featured on this banner, so you can go ahead and go for her. If not, if you don't have Makoto yet, I'm pretty sure most of everyone has been able to get Makoto from Clan Battle. Um, if not, you're very, very, very close. So Makoto should almost have everyone. Everyone should have June. Everyone should have Makoto. Almost everyone. Um, obviously, if you were a newer player, the chances of you having both of these characters are obviously much lower. But if you've been playing since the start of the game came out, everyone should be having a June and Makoto. If not, then you should at least be super, super close to unlocking either one of them. All right, so now that we talked about that, here is the team comp that I'm going to be going with. It's just going to be a triple tank, Kyori, and Makoto. Uh, this team works just like fine on full auto mode. You do not have to touch anything. I highly suggest not manualing this. You can if you want to, but I highly suggest leaving this on full auto. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Kyoka stage. So right now, I think the easiest stages, of course, is wave one and two. Uh, you should be able to just completely demolish wave one and two. Uh, you should have no problems going through this at all. So wave one and two should be a walk in the park. Where you really get into the problem is wave three. Uh, and that is because Kyoka is an absolute beast. And she's going to be blasting your characters with tons of magical damage. Uh, which is, of course, why we're running triple tank. Uh, of course, the enemies of, in there as well are also very, very strong. I mean, as you can see, these guys are pretty tanky as well. They're getting slapped up with Makoto and Kiori, and they're still living. Now we're going to be moving on into Wave 2. Uh, this little lion guy is really, really tanky. Uh, he has a lot of health. Uh, Kiori should be able to kill him, though. Perfect. All right, so we got some very good DPS on him. Uh, these guys are very, very annoying to fight against, so hopefully we're able to cut through them really, really quickly. Once again, you just want to let this run full auto. As you can see, we are entirely at max health moving in into the final phase. Uh, so now this slum bear is going to be level 109 of course uh, so keep in mind if you are going to be fighting against this boss make sure that your characters are as high level as possible for example you want your curry if you're at level 108 or level 109 make sure your curry is leveled up to 108 whatever your level cap is make sure they're leveled up because that will give you the extra dps and extra health that you need in order to take down the boss now obviously the slum bear as you can see she knocks back or he 
They knock back the character in the front, they knock them all the way back, and then the character has to run all the way back up to the front. Uh, so there is going to be a lot of damage right there, but June's going to go ahead and pop her shield in. Uh, Kyori's going to do some damage. There's a crit right there as well. Makoto's going to do her damage. Uh, so now Miyako's going to have to run all the way back up to the top. And thankfully, er, since we got knocked back from our Miyako, June was able to actually eat the attack um, from the Kyoka, which was very, very good. Uh, so now that means basically we're in business now. Now the Slum Bear should be able to go down. There we go. And now we're just focusing on Kyoka. Uh, we should be able to get the June ultimate in. Um, it should pop up. Okay, well, that's fine. She blasted our Miyako, but Miyako is so tanky that I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, she's going to be healing herself as well. The stun and everything. And there we go. That is complete. Full auto. I did not touch a single thing. I did not manual a single thing. That was entirely full auto. Uh, of course, I do have high stars. My Makoto is five stars. My Kyori is five stars. My Nozomi is five stars. My Miyako is five stars. My June is only at four stars, though. Of course, all my bond levels are max as well. Uh, so there you go, Kyori and Makoto comp. This team absolutely dominates the brand new 16-3 stage. I mean, this stage honestly is a walk in the park if you have the right characters. Uh, honestly, this stage is way easier than that June stage that we had back then on Area 14. Um, I had to make a guide on that literally a month after it came out because literally people were still struggling on that stage. Uh, of course, this is the 14 June stage. This stage I feel like was way harder when it first came out compared to the Kyoka stage that we just had dropped. Uh, but other than that, I mean, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully this team comp guide helps some of you guys out who are struggling on this Kyoka stage. Um, obviously, if you are struggling at all, never fear, throw Jun Makoto at them and you pretty much will win. Um, honestly, that's how it really goes in PvE. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and collect my Kyoka shards and hopefully get my Kyoka up to four stars very, very soon. I'm super excited, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.